Are you ready? Hey, you think you could tell us what to do? You think you could tell us what to wear? You think that you're better? Well, you better get ready. Bow to the masters. Break it down! Hey guys, the Liberty Band 20 here. Welcome to episode 7, I believe, of my LU preview series. Today we're going to be going over Presbyterian. Liberty this past week beat Gardner Webb in its conference opener 34 to nothing and held them under 100 yards. All I got to say, Presbyterian, its record is 5 and 3, just like Liberty's. They're coming off two big south wins over Charleston Southern and Monmouth. They beat Monmouth last week 18 to 12. They have held both teams under 14 points per game which is amazing. They were my Big South um, team surprise this year. I picked them to be really well, picked them to be an upset team, or and they have. They beat two top 25 teams in Furman and Charleston Southern. It's really good. Uh, I've been waiting for a really, really good Big South matchup besides Coastal and Liberty, so this one's going to be really good. Uh, they have a decent defense. They've been passing a lot, though, but they are more of a running team. Their key players are their defense, Toby and Nietzsche, and Hayes McMath is the quarterback. Watch for them to connect a little bit. Uh, Hayes McMath is an option quarterback, so just like Liberty, uh, I like that we've been incorporating the option a little bit. We don't do well against the option, but our defense did really well the last couple weeks, and I'm kind of hoping that they just move that, they transition that over to this game. The keys to winning the game, like I just said, defense, keep doing what you're doing. Really keep doing what you're doing. Uh, stick on those wide receivers. Or always watch for the draws or the option plays. Uh, we got to score fast uh, sometimes because if we don't, I'd rather run the defense dry, like make them tired and then score. Uh, little to no penalties. Uh, last week in the fourth quarter, we got a lot of penalties we probably shouldn't have got. That kind of, it didn't really hurt us. It was just kind of sloppy. We played perfect for about two and a half, three quarters, and then they just kind of, went down not bad we didn't let them score but still you know it's it's nice to see little to no penalties would be great uh don't be caught by surprise uh if it looks like a throw or a running play just make sure that um you know toby anichi is not or anita i can't pronounce his name i do apologize he's not running down because he can catch he's a great wide receiver um if you shut him down it should basically be an easy game but you never know my final score is uh, Liberty 24, Presbyterian 17. That's what I'm going to go off of. I do apologize for this seeming a little bit rushed. I did not get to film Wednesday. I have been very busy working and catching up on a few things. And, yeah, that's all I got to say. This is Liberty Band 20, and every day is game day. Go Flames.